If you're a reseller like me, then you do a lot of shipping for your reselling business. And so in today's video, I'm going to share with you the six items that I believe you need to have on hand in order to make your shipping easier and better. Stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body candles by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and like I said earlier, I am a part-time reseller. I typically resell used clothing, but I do sometimes also ship out hard goods and depending on what it is that you're shipping, you need a lot of shipping supplies on hand so that when you sit down to do your shipping, you're not constantly like running around your house or even around town looking for things to help you ship out your items. So if you enjoy these kinds of tips and tricks videos for resellers or what sold videos or haul videos, definitely hit that subscribe button because I do upload at least two videos a week. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you that I think is an essential tool for resellers when it comes to shipping bags or boxes to ship your items out in. There are a number of ways that you can secure these items for your reselling business for shipping. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is free shipping supplies. So for example, I, you know, don't do too much online shopping, but I do sometimes. And this is an example of a bag that I received from a pair of jeans that I purchased on Everlane. So rather than throwing this in the recycling bin, I figured I would save it and throw, you know, the next item that I'm shipping out in here. And that way, not only am I getting more use out of it, which is great for the environment, but it didn't cost me anything. And nobody minds, you know, getting bags or boxes that are reused from other places. I've even reused like udon boxes that we get from Costco. You know, they have like those instant noodle things and it says udon on the outside no one has complained about it. And it's just a really great way to be environmentally conscious. You know, if you are someone who shops on Amazon or really any online store, you can save those boxes or those padded poly mailers. They're just really great to reuse. And all you have to do is make sure that I'm trying to cover up the label with my address and stuff. You just want to make sure that you either rip off the label or that you stick your new label over it. If an item has more than one postage label, then USPS will not ship it out or even UPS or FedEx because they don't know which label they're supposed to pay attention to. So just make sure that you either rip it off, throw your new label over it, or you can even take a Sharpie and just, you know, cross out over the barcode and address and stuff from the last time that it was used. And I would obviously also use um, tape to just secure the closing so that it doesn't open in transit. Another thing that I save from Amazon packages or just packages in general are things like, I don't even know what these are called. This says Air Plus, but you know, you get a lot of these like bubble popper thingy airbag things in boxes. Um, I've gotten things in bubble wrap before. So all of this stuff, rather than just throwing it away, I go ahead and save it because I know that I can reuse it when, especially I'm shipping out hard goods that need to be protected. Another way to secure free shipping supplies like you know perhaps boxes or you know these air bubble popper things um, you can just post about it perhaps on your next door app if you're on next door um, if you have some sort of like Facebook group for your neighborhood if you're in an apartment building you can you know post like a flyer on your bulletin board just letting your neighbors know that you are willing to take their old boxes and their old shipping supplies off of their hands I know people who live in apartment buildings that have put up you know these kinds of flyers on their bulletin board and as a result, they get so many boxes just kind of dropped off at their doorstep because people, you know, like knowing that those kinds of things are going to be reused. I've also heard of people just kind of paying attention to places like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, especially under the free category and learning about people who are trying to get rid of a ton of boxes or people who are trying to get rid of a ton of shipping supplies. And they were able to score some really great shipping supplies that way, basically for free. So there are a lot of really great ways to reuse shipping supplies rather than going going out and buying your own, which can get costly and isn't as good for the environment. That being said, another great way to get some good shipping supplies is through USPS. I personally sell mainly on Poshmark and eBay, and my shipping service of choice typically tends to be USPS. And so what you can do is you can actually go on their website and you can order a bunch of shipping supplies for free. For example, you can get all kinds of boxes in a variety of sizes. Behind me on this bookshelf, actually, I have a ton of shipping supplies. So for example, you can get these padded flat rate envelopes, um, just like I said, boxes of all sizes. There are a ton of things that you can get from free for USPS and you don't even have to go somewhere to pick it up or anything like that. You literally just open an account on USPS.com, select what it is that you want and they will mail it to your home. 
USPS.com has been a godsend and I literally use their boxes and you know Tyvek envelopes and powder flat rate envelopes on a daily basis. When I can I try to reuse as much as possible but if you know for whatever reason I don't have anything on hand then I do also have a great stock of USPS shipping supplies in hand. The last thing that I'll share in terms of bags and boxes that you would use to ship out items in I also will order supplies from eBay. If you have an eBay store depending on the level of store that you have you get a quarterly coupon so four times a year you are given an amount where you can shop from the eBay store for shipping supplies that have the eBay branding on it so for example I have eBay tape and I've gone ahead and put it in like a different uh, tape container so that it's easier to use and I'll talk about shipping tape here in a little bit I also have this like padded envelope type situation this is great for items that maybe are not over a pound but just need that extra you know padding and so i'll put them in here i have let's see i've got my box of goodies here so let me show you what else i have i have poly mailers in a variety of sizes from ebay i know that ebay also has boxes that you can purchase with their branding on them as well and so if you have an ebay store i would definitely suggest using your ebay quarterly coupon to purchase a few shipping supplies that you can use for shipping Shipping. The next tool that I like to have on hand as a reseller, and of course I don't have it right next to me, is a box cutter or a box resizer. The reason for this is because if you do use reselling platforms like eBay, when you figure out your shipping for an item, you're not only paying for how much the item weighs, but you're also paying for the size of the item. So not only do you have to measure the weight of the item, but you have to also provide eBay with the dimensions of that item, and that's how they come up with how much you have to pay for shipping. Therefore, if you have an item, let's say, that is the length of this box, but only about this tall, you are actually going to be paying for all of this space if you just ship it out in the box as is. And so what a lot of eBay sellers will do is they will actually cut down their box. You know, they'll cut kind of at the folds here so that they can fold down the box so that it's not as tall. And then when they do their measurements for how big the box is, then they don't have to include all of that empty space that they don't actually need for the item that they're shipping out. You do want to be careful because if you are going to resize boxes, you don't want to do it on any sort of flat rate packaging materials, but you can do it for priority mailboxes. You can do it, obviously, if you have like a box that you're just reusing from Amazon or like an eBay box, um, but it is a great way to save some money on shipping. And in order to cut your boxes down, rather than using a pair of scissors or something like that, you can instead use a box cutter or a box resizer. And I will, by the way, have a bunch of links links down in the description below, mainly some Amazon affiliate links that you can click on to purchase some of these items so that you have a fully stocked shipping station in your own home. The next item that I believe every reseller needs to have as part of their shipping station is some sort of digital postal scale. This is a shipping scale that I use. It is by Accutech and I just got it on Amazon and it was extremely affordable. I will have it linked down below. This gives you a maximum weight of 50 pounds. So, you know, I have shipped out boxes, for example, to places like ThreadUp or I ship out boxes of inventory to eBliss so that they can do shipping for me. And those boxes do need to be under a certain weight requirement so I can put boxes on here but this is also perfect for you know if I'm just shipping out like clothes or something and I need to know how many ounces it weighs so that I can plug that information into eBay or Mercari so that I can purchase the correct shipping label for that item I love this scale because it does come with a plug that you can plug into an outlet but you can also just run it off of the battery and so if you need to take it off of your shipping table and put it on the floor because you need to throw your box on there you know you can just go ahead Ahead and turn it on even without it being plugged in this is I think just an essential tool for every reseller to have so that you're not just guessing how much things weigh and you are able to put accurate information into the different reselling platforms that you're selling on so that you can get the appropriate shipping label and you're not charged after the fact or you're not prevented from being able to ship out your item in the first place because you have an incorrect label the next item that I know is a little bit more of a luxury than it is a necessity is some sort of label printer for 
is some sort of thermal label printer. I personally, let's see if you can see it. You can. I have this Dymo here, and as you can see, it just lives on this bookshelf. This is where I keep a lot of my shipping supplies, and as you can see, I have my laptop and my Dymo just plugged right into it. So when I do my shipping every morning, I just print out my labels from my laptop right here. And what's beautiful about it is it just spits out a label with an adhesive back. So you just peel the label off, you, you know, stick it on your bag or your box, and you're good to go. Go. You don't have to sit there and like cut out the labels and then tape them on with tape. So it saves a ton of time and you don't need to buy ink for these kinds of labels. So you also save some money there. There is obviously an upfront investment in purchasing the printer, but once it's purchased, the only thing you have to purchase afterwards are just replacement labels. And I just get mine off of eBay. So again, I personally use the Dymo. I know a lot of people swear by the Rolo. There are a few other options out there. It's really up to you and and what works for your budget. So I will have the Dymo link down below as well as the labels that I use to put in the Dymo. The next item that I'm gonna talk about is much more affordable than the Dymo label printer. And it is, of course, my tape is stuck to it. It is these large, like extra large jumbo size, 2.5 gallon storage bags or like Ziploc bags. I think depending on where you go, they may even sell larger ones. The reason I like these is because they're obviously larger than like a gallon size bag. And when I have really big jackets, like puffy jackets or boots, things of that nature, I will put them in these bags to protect those items when they're being shipped out. Let's say I'm shipping out a beautiful puffer jacket. Chances are that thing is not going to fit inside of any sort of poly mailer that I may have on hand or in any sort of like, you know, padded envelope. And so I will have to put that item in a box, which is fine. But you know, if I were to put that item in this sort of box, let's say it rains or there's, you know, a big snowstorm and the box gets wet wet. If that's the case, I want to make sure that I have an extra layer of protection around that puffer jacket from the elements. And so, like I said, what I'll do is I'll just throw it in one of these. I purchased these at the Dollar Tree. Um, in my area, you know, you can get a box of these with five bags and then for a dollar. So obviously there is an investment of like 20 cents per bag, but I would much rather do that than find out that, you know, the item that I tried to send was ruined because of rain or snow or anything of that nature. And so I do really enjoy putting some of those larger items that need extra protection in one of these bags. And furthermore, what it also does is when you put an item in a bag like this, it does kind of contain the puffiness or or the size or the whatever of the item that you're trying to send and it may even make it easier to put into a box or a bag or whatever it is that you're trying to ship the item out in it just helps the item become more manageable when you're trying to ship it out finally every reseller needs to have good shipping tape on hand i personally use this scotch shipping packaging tape i have tried like a green one that is apparently specifically for boxes but i don't really like the grip of it as well i don't think it holds as well as this one. So I will link this down below. And then I also do enjoy using eBay's branded tape. I think it's like pretty decent tape. It is a lot thinner and maybe not as heavy duty as the scotch. Um, but that being said, you know, when eBay does send you their tape, they just send it to you in rolls like this. And it is really difficult, I think, to manage just, you know, rolls like this and use scissors and whatnot. So as you can see with my eBay tape, I just had this like HD clear duct tape um, laying around my house. And so once I used up that tape, I just went ahead and stuck the eBay tape inside of here. I know some people have like even more heavy duty tape dispensers. This one works perfect for me though. So that is a hack that I would give you when it comes to eBay tape, just to make it easier to use. And then finally, I know that there are tapes that you can purchase, you know, shipping tapes that don't make the loud noise. So like, you know, when you pull the tape out, there is always that like kind of annoying, gritty sound. Um, you can purchase like soft tape. I don't know exactly what it's called. It is more expensive. Personally, I'm fine with the amount of noise that all my tape makes because it's not like I'm trying to do my shipping when it's, you know, really early in the morning or anything like that. But if you are into just kind of having that Zen environment, then maybe that is something you want to look into. Those are the six items that I think all resellers should have on hand when it 
it comes to shipping. And I'm sure that you have something that you think is an essential that I have missed. And if that's the case, I would love to hear from you. What shipping supply can you not live without? Go ahead and throw those items down in the comments below because I would love to hear from you. I'm sure that there are some wonderful products out there that I just am not even aware of or just haven't tried. And I would love to learn from you as well. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned anything, definitely make sure that you hit that thumbs up button on your way out because it does help out this video and my channel. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!